See also I will cut my hair. Let's let's a bit different now. They used to be. So what's up guys at the King777 HD here and welcome to my new video. Today is 31st of July 2018 and I'm finally back from holidays. I'm back. I was in Russia and I was in Poland. Today I'm going to show you um, FIFA's 19 players prediction. In this video I'll basically show you uh, some players what ratings and what stats they will be having next year Ultimate Team and next year FIFA. It's crazy to think about that it's already 2018-19 season and that 2019 is just around the corner. It is how it is and we're going to take, make a prediction on it of, of the stats that I think players these players will, will be having for next year Ultimate Team. Also I'll be uploading for the video from Russia. It was a great experience. I'll be a part of it. I've been on the Senegal-Poland game which was, yeah, not the greatest, but I'll be talking about, about the World Cup in the next video. In this video, I'll be showing you some predictions. And just a video to say that I am <laughs> back <laughs> again once more. So, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Leave a like and comment, and see you soon. Okay, so that was one of the best intros ever. But your honesty, what's up, guys? Adi King777 HD here and welcome to my new video and today we're going to talk about FIFA 19 ratings prediction and we're going to start with Cristiano Ronaldo in this video a player that I would not usually talk about in these kind of videos because I like to talk about low rated players bronze players, silver players or even low rated gold players but I like to talk about Cristiano Ronaldo because he is now moving to Juventus and we all remember that this guy had a nightmare of the beginning of the season. It took him eight games in Liga Santander before he got his first league goal. But then he won the Champions League for the fifth time. And Cristiano Ronaldo is still one of the best players. 26 goals in 27 games in La Liga, which is still a hell of a lot of goals. He had a great 2018 year with also 15 goals in 13 Champions League games. This guy is just a definition of a world-class and absolutely phenomenal Champions League player in that competition. He is the record-breaker and Ronaldo still, in my opinion, should be 94 rated next year. Could be 93. Some people even say, some people say it should be 95. 94 was what I give him with higher shooting, passing, defending and physical. Which is a little bit controversial, but have to be done, but lower dribbling. This guy is not a good dribbler anymore, we all know that. And all stats should be around the same, other than his dribbling. Now we're going to talk about Alison Becker. And the reason why I go and talk about this guy is because he's crazily low rated this year. He's only 80 rated goalkeeper. And when you are number one goalkeeper for Brazil, you should be at least 85. I mean, seriously. How is Alisson only 80 and having got a winter upgrade? I have no idea. This guy is number one goalkeeper for Brazil. He has been great in the World Cup for Brazil, having done many mistakes. Um, and for Roma, he had 17 clean sheets, which is unbelievable, seriously. Eight, 17 clean sheets for Roma. It was around that, I think it was even 18. It was more clean sheets than, than you could imagine. And... When you're number one goalkeeper over Ederson, that is over, that is possibly going to be 84 rated. This guy should be 85 rated. So that's why I give 85 rating to Alison Becker. And Andre Rebic is another very good player that had a fantastic work up with Croatia. His game against Argentina was fantastic. He had, his performances were very, very good. But he also has been good in the Bundesliga, not as good as many people think. But he still managed to get 9 goals in 29 games for Eintracht Frankfurt. He scored in the German Cup final to beat Bayern Munich. And he has been just a very, very good player. That He has been heavily linked with many moves out of Eintracht Frankfurt. But in my opinion, he's still possibly going to stay there for another season. But he should be upgraded, at least 79. Many people say it should be 80 or 81, but that's a little bit of a World Cup hype. I think this guy will be having a 79 rated striker card, but that striker card will be just so incredibly good to play an ultimate team with that pace, shooting, dribbling, physical, just fantastic for, for starter teams. 
another player that is going to be brilliant for starter teams, but also a, that is a very talented centre back is Akanji. Mando Akanji have shown us that that he is a very very hot prospect, have been great for Barcelona so in the time he have in his spell that high he have been having there. Then he moved to Borussia Dortmund when he became a starter player, and he also have been playing for Swiss national team. And he also had some very, very good performances, other than his own goal against uh, Sweden. I mean, he, the, the ball touched his foot. He all, all, all around had a great a great tournament as well. And he had to had, have been significant upgraded in terms of his pace. Both his passing. His passing is very accurate for a, a centre-back. And in next year FIFA, we could be expecting him to see a 78-77 rated card with higher pace, passing, dribbling little bit more defending but also with six plus physical something around that from Manuel Kanji and this player just I, I just have to talk about this guy because Erling Braut Holland he's only 17 years old Moda have been very bad this season but then he does this four goals against Brann the leader the first team in the table 17 years old okay now he's 18 years old but 17 years old and scoring four goals which is just incredible. And there have been scouts from Manchester United, unfortunately. So this guy could be potentially out of Molde very soon. Which is a shame because he already have got 8 goals in the in Norwegian League this season. And he's just fantastic. He's just so strong. But also so fast. He's ridiculously quick and very good on the ball. He's six foot three, Which is like a 190, 190 centimeters so. tall. And and his ball control, dribbling and pace for such a being such a huge, such a tall guy is ridiculous. And Heli brought Holland have shown us how I, the, what he can do in the Norwegian league, and in my opinion should be at least a 68 rated silver next year. And then the last player of this video that in my opinion should be upgraded is Lucas Torreira. Great season for Sampdoria, scoring crucial goals, some very nice free kicks, and showing why he is a, such a great midfielder getting a team of the season for his fantastic season with Sampadoria. Sampadoria finished 10th in the table which is also very very good but he also had a great World Cup if you have watched the World Cup you could see this guy running in the middle of the pitch just clearing everything absolutely pocketed Ronaldo in the game against Portugal and in my opinion he should be getting at least a 3 even maybe 4 plus upgrade for next year FIFA with, with I give him an 80 rated card, it's, it's considering what position he'll be having in next year, but I give him a 80 rated card with better dribbling, passing, 10 plus shooting because his free kicks are only like 32 and his, he, most of his goals came from free kicks so that, doesn't not, that, that does not make any sense and Timo opinion Torreira could be potentially having a significant shooting upgrade, but in my opinion defending uh, as well, this guy defends a lot. He's like a mini Angola Kante, and he should have at least 70 defending. And Lucas Torreira could be a great prospect and very trusting. It would be very interesting to see how he performs in for Arsenal this season. So, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. Hope you enjoyed this uh, so far, and see you soon with a new video.